Okay, on op 1H, we've got x squared minus 36, okay? So we've got an x squared, a subtract sign, then a number. Does this look like a certain type of factoring to you? Okay, you might have learned the difference of squares method of factoring, okay? And have a look at the the video, the extra lesson video to, to learn this if you don't know it. But the difference of squares is that if you have a squared minus b squared, it's equal to a plus b times a minus b, right? So 36 is a perfect square. What number squared gives 36? 6 squared is 36, right? So this thing, of course, is x squared minus 6 squared. See? So we have x squared minus 6 squared. Right? So it's kind of like instead of a and b in the formula for difference of squares, we have x squared x and, and 6. So this would be x plus 6 times x minus 6. Or x minus 6 times x plus 6. Same thing, right? And we can also check this just to be sure. x times x, x squared, x times negative 6 minus 6x. Six, 6 times x plus 6x, six, 6 times negative 6 minus 36. And then add like terms, we get x squared plus 0x minus 36, which is just x squared minus 36, right? So this is the answer, x plus 6 times x minus 6. That's the answer. Or x minus 6 times x plus 6. That would be the same thing. So once again, if you had x minus 6 times x plus 6, that's also correct.